Platinum Pool Events Guide. Hello, everybody. I got my days wrong. Yes, I didn't think that it was today. I thought it was tomorrow, but these events have started today. So I thought I'd do an events guide, and especially because this will be today something's launched, and then uh, two things have actually launched today. One other thing is launching on Sunday, and all of it needs to be put together in a little bit of a pack. If you want to check out the link in the description, as I said at the start of the month when I do a guide, the tab for the guide, which is the side quest guide for the month, can be available in the link in the description. It's got like how the side quest works, it's got like a breakdown of rewards, it's got other stuff. It is a pack each and every month I create. So I've updated it with a new tab that looks on the different types of things that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So the first thing that's gone live is a Platinum Palooza event. It's kind of like the holiday kind of sunglasses type event in that you basically do things throughout the game. Uh, as you can see at the moment, it is is that a challenge, which is win fights using champions with class disadvantage to earn points. Points mean prizes because if you are non-spending like myself, you're going to be looking towards getting right to the very end and getting some of these gold track selectors. These gold track selectors have things like guns blazing crystals for different types of progressions. For Paragon, you can get yourself Nexus crystals, which are super spicy and fun. I do like them. They are they're some of my favorites. 0.9% um oh yeah that's the one of getting potentially a rocket and also you can get 3.6% at something else so those actually those crystals actually look pretty darn fun so that's something there there's also other things on offer like energy refills for energy refills a little bit of a rubber doogie everyone likes rubber doogie um, I think that's what the Swedish chef said once. Otherwise, I am a bit of a Muppet, so that probably uh, means that. But look, uh, there's also a spending option. Is it worth spending on? It's down to personal preference. I can't tell you how to spend your money. Uh, I'm not going to say go out and spend your money now because Kabam have laid off 35 members of staff. So, you know, is it worth me encouraging that? No, it's not. The second thing going on is a very important thing. If you have a platinum pool at a five star, six star rarity, or you've got the cards in order to complete the particular platinum pool this trading event is going to be very important if you go to your featured item store place at the moment or indeed go to your inventory if you go inventory and other and you get to check out like what you've got like what what you need you can see at the moment like for me i do need to get myself i think i've already got an awakened platinum pool but if my five star version i could get one more piece and i've completed my uh, I think I've completed actually one, two, three, four, five. No, I can't count, can I? Um, but I could if I traded in one of the other items. Like if I traded in one of my many five arms, uh, I could get myself another type of item, uh, another type of uh, card, which then will allow me to get myself a five star platinum pool for my trouble, right? The same thing goes with my six star. The six star one is more important to me because I have got myself. All of the pieces, bar what I think is the legs. So I will be looking out for this trade, um, this trading opportunity. So I click on it right now, and the good news is I can get. It says, it says here the booster pack allows you to choose a piece of super fabulous one and add it to your inventory. So um, I've got two, as it says there. This is all about trading in the head because it will instruct you. Say so like, okay, trade in the head part, and it says there owned. I've got two of those I own at the moment. So fine, I will give up one of the head pieces. In order to get myself a pack and as we kind of scroll across uh, you'll be able to see I have zero that says uh, strapping young legs of the super fabulous one I don't have the legs so I can actually get my platinum pool now I can finally do that I can finally form the crystal the same thing with going to the other one okay well like I've got well I, this is the point I shouldn't trade in I'm not gonna trade in right now I'm gonna wait the great thing about this particular event is if you go to your message, it should say, so if we go to read and then go down to platinum pool event and then scroll down to trade, no, trade in there, which I've just missed out. It says I got to the 13th of December for this. So the great thing about this is it will change by the hour. So look out for that. Just go in each and every hour, and, or, you know, if you're waiting for a piece or waiting to kind of balance in, okay, well, I've got X amount leaving of that, that amount I've owned at the moment and I can try and get, if I've got five, then what I can do is trade in my four of those or three of those and spread them across. And that's the thing, you can spread your trade so you can then allow yourself 
to get more of opportunities to get more platinum pools, whether it's the five star or six star variety. Okay, now onto a bit of a bone of contention. My first criticism of this particular event, by the way, I'm happy this event is back and I think it's a great event, all the little things when it comes to arena free units that we'll get from the fabulous crystals. But I do have a complaint and that is with the not another anime reference solo event. And what Kabam have done this time is I kind of feel like they've taken it away from, and look, if you like Battlegrounds, you like Battlegrounds, but the amount of work you have to do in Battlegrounds to do this particular version of the solo event is so much more grindier than how it was before. And before it was grindy, when you did the Golden Wilson uh, Awards quest, which was the kind of uh, boss rush thing, right? That was grindy, but at least it's a case you could, you know, your unit spend was kind of like down in kind of comparison or your extent of grind or champion choices and stuff like that. It just feels like it's more grindier or will be more grindy this time. And also those that have already reached Gladiator Circuit and will have a hard time winning consistently because they'll face tougher opponents will indeed feel a bit uh, kind of hard done by when it comes to this. But definitely last year was very different to how it is this year. And I'm sure people will be asking about predictions. Well, I can really say that it's different. It's a different meta this year to how it was last year. I mean, look, last year you could put up 16 points and get 11% to uh, to 30% in your grind here, which you can see on screen right now. This is from last year. So I will it be exactly the same? I don't know. I can say put up 16 points, but you're doing a different meta. It was a lot more easy to do 16 points without doing any kind of effort versus how much it's going to be a case now. And uh, yeah, 16 points may indeed get you 11% to 30%. But I don't know, because it's a different meta. Like last year, this player did 10, got 10% 10 with 29 points. So again, it could be the same, but the farming is so much more different. And it's more complex this time. And will be a case of going like, look, I would say just focus on getting those 12 points required. Yes, participation. You could have 12 losses in Battlegrounds and get the, uh, get the amount uh, that you need. But it's all about kind of getting those wins to what you get back from it. But I said, focus on those fabulous crystals. Those milestone ones, because they're going to be the best ones. And as well, from a rank perspective, like, yeah, you, you just don't know where you're going to be. Just the points to accumulate them is tough because it's all about doing, you know, you've got to get complete matches. That's fine. That's easy to do, right? It's just winning them, which is going to be giving you the better points. Like, that's three points out from a win or one if you just kind of lose. So, you know, you could either take 12. You could, the thing is, you could just go in and keep losing it, or try and lose. Uh, I Try and win. Just try and win. <laughs> And the final thing is the arena. The arena drops on Sunday. It's a bit of a weird time for an arena to drop, but it does indeed drop on uh, a Sunday. I'm still kind of like a bit bemused by it, but at least it gives you something to do on a Sunday. If you've got nothing to do in game, then you might as well just grind up some arena on a Sunday night watching a movie with your loved one, maybe a hand, if you're two hands, if you know, there's you're really lonely. What am I hinting at? You do the math. But, um, yeah, when it comes to the arena, all jokes aside, by the way, that is, that's, that's me joking. But uh, when it comes to the arena, I think it's going to be very important that players want to know uh, things when it comes to cutoff scores and things like that. It's tough to say. Again, um, different metas last year, six stars availability and stuff like that. Six stars are allowed to be used in this particular arena. Can't remember if they were last year. But again, this is going to be a big kind of factor as to what you get back as a result. And uh, yeah, there's going to be good stuff in... Th this was last year's uh, rank rewards, by the way, if you're interested. So it does give you selectors. They were five stars only. So this year, it's going to be different. It's all about six stars. And if it's six stars, it will mean that saying 39 million points is probably not going to be enough. And you're going to have to go a bit higher when it comes to that one. Just breaking down some stuff. The um, the kind of like uh, arena kind of uh, milestones, do them. Milestones are very, very important. And yeah, just smash them out. And look, here's a good example of this. Like last year, 39 points, 39 million points was enough for the top 300. So whether or not that was, yeah, that was the 300 slot right there for nearly 40 million points. Then there you go, right? That gives you an idea. Is it going to be that this time? I really doubt it. Because this arena goes until Wednesday, it means that players will probably put up a lot of points, especially if there are uh, six star um, available uh, for this. But the arena does say five star platinum pool pieces and more. What that more will be, I don't know. Will it be six star related? Because you kind of go, is it worth it? Then if it's a case there's nothing of huge spice there, then I'm sure that, that it will go 40 mil. But as I said, as that's that's it, really. If there's six stars in it, people will be pushing. And if you're using six stars and it's multipliers, you're going to see 100 mil, like easy. If it's a case that it's um, just five star pieces, then 
it will be like that 40 mil to, to kind of 60 mil kind of spot. Can't 100% guarantee that, but it's just a case of um, things change in a year. Nothing stays the same in a year. It all changes. If it was the same, we'd be talking about how great Kabam are with the gold pool event, the, uh, the, the day of the Deadpool gold pool offers. Did that happen? No, it didn't. Every year, different thing. But in any case, that has been your guide for this particular event. If you're interested, links are in the description to the updated side quest guide for the month, for the month of November. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out some other content located on screen right now. This video I was going to make for tomorrow, but I thought, look, let's get it out now. While strike while the iron's hot. Hope you enjoyed it, and cheers, everybody. See you all soon. Bye-bye.